I'm starting off today's DIY with Dollar Tree bowls, and I will be using three packs of this. I'll be using a strong adhesive to attach all the bowls together. I'll be using Dollar Tree items to make a unique base for a table, unlike the other ones that I have made about four or five years ago using this same design. This is a little bit different because the base is going to be much smaller than the ones I made years ago. I found out that it was much more easier gluing on the bowls like this first, separately, and then when you have the glued bowls like this, you then glue them on top of one another. As I was doing this, I made sure that the bottom lips of all the bowls were aligned together. Now I'm going to add singular bowls that's going to be at the top and at the bottom. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. You should know that these bowls glued together like this cannot serve as a table because they're not strong enough. So what I'm going to do is add a decorative item, which are beads that I got from Party City and can also be gotten at the Dollar Tree as well. These beads not only add a decorative feature to the overall design, but also make it super sturdy as long as I'm adding them to where all the bowls meet. I'm going to go around again with more beads the second time to make the beads much thicker. Adding the beads to make it much thicker is going to give it more balance. I then decided it will be nice to have beads here as well. If you're going to be recreating this for your home, you can leave this white if you like, but I decided to just spray paint mine gold. I kept this aside and then took two wooden boards that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now these boards are not strong at all, so if I'm going to be using them for a tabletop, I'm going to have to glue two boards together, and that's what I did. I took two of the boards that I got from the Dollar Tree and glued them together with wood glue. I'll be making another one again, just like this, because I have a design in mind that I want to make with two separate round boards that will be used for the tabletop. I'll be spray painting just the edges 
of all the boards that I glued together. And then I'm going to take it back inside when it's dry and cover up just one side with gold contact paper. I'm going to be adding Dollar Tree ornament balls to my design. And these are going to be glued down around the edges of the board. I'm going to be leaving spaces in between each of the ornament balls using one ornament ball as my guide to give me the exact spacing in between each of the balls on the board. When I was done, I then added one more ornament ball in the middle, just to make sure that the table has the proper balance. If anything is being placed on top of the table in the middle, it won't sink in. Then I took the other board and glued it on top of the ornament balls. And then this is going to be glued to the set of balls that I had glued together which will make it complete for a table. I'm gonna be having a mirror on top of my table. This is what it looks like. And it's a simple designer style side table. To make it look slightly different, I put on a different top and I used a gold tray on top of it. And this is what it looks like. Now you can also add the ornament balls to make it look like a large bee chain was used in this design instead of singular ornament balls. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.